Noah is like the old man of the house. He's my, my chill partner, like right now. He's kind of just chilling, hanging out. He knows when you have good days and when you have bad days, and he can almost sense it. If you've had a bad day or something rough happen, you can sit down, talk with him, and it kind of relieves your, your stress. And then you have Lincoln, who's the rambunctious, rebellious, inquisitive teenager. Lincoln! No! Wait! <laughs> Working out and uh, being active was a, a pretty big thing. It was almost like he was pushing me. It's almost like making a spiritual connection. I've always been into like older music, things like reading, so none of the young, rambunctious stuff. Uh, but then, also with Lincoln, I get to see that side was, hey, you know, maybe I could have been like Lincoln during my teenage years or right after high school. So I kind of let him do the things that I didn't do. <laughs> Having Noah and Lincoln around affected me a great deal because during my transition, going from nothing but the military for 20 years, then trying to solidly transition back into civilian life, being able to turn to my wife and being able to take Noah and Lincoln out on the walk, That was the kind of support that I needed to kind of keep on going and keep trying. You see two big dogs walking down the street. Even though they're not acting aggressive, being aggressive, they are paying attention to nothing other than myself and my wife as we're walking. You would see another person walking and they will cross the other side of the street like my dog is being aggressive. It's unfortunate. People will look at me and they're like, oh my God, big, burly guy, he's probably pretty mean, or he's unapproachable, and I'm the exact opposite. People's eyes tell a different story than what people really are. Stereotypes and the continued stereotyping of anything, people, animals, it's a, a misconception and it's something that I think that needs to go away completely. One day I was like, you know what? Do you want to try to get the dogs dressed together <laughs> and see who wins? <laughs> With these guys paying me more attention the way that they have, it's been kind of giving me a homey feel, feeling of being loved and nurtured. I love these guys. They always lift my spirits. 